Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a round I played a couple of Saturday nights ago with Salty Walty and his uh, and his uh, Discord uh, crew. Because uh, 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 Saturdays I usually stream Dragon Quest 8 with Salty on his channel, but uh, this week he was just not up to it, so we uh, we went for GBO2 instead. So. And, yeah, I'm in the prototype Stark Jagan, and I'm kind of proud of this round because, well, you'll see why in a second. Because it's not that I'm d I am do super, super well. It's that the enemy team, out of six people on it, four are Gaz L's. And I think, that being the case, I equip myself pretty well in, in this round, so... Uh, but yeah, Prototype Stark Jagan is a support. I got the bazooka for it, which I don't think I was using the last time I ran it. So uh, it's uh, it's a two-star drop, I believe, that bazooka. And it is a separate from, you know, any other gear out there. I don't think anything else, even the normal Jagan can use it, even though it's called a Jagan bazooka. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's decent. But let's see, managed to, uh, speaking of bazooka, managed to keep that gas L away from me. It's going after our good flight type instead, which has a little bit better chances of survival than I do, but I managed to take it out, so now I have my big missiles again, which, to be honest, you know, I just, like I've said before, I like things with big all-or-nothing blasts, whether it's a charge attack, a melee, a charging beam gun, big missiles, I, I just kind of like that, so... You know, I, I like the high-risk, high-reward stuff, so... And, yeah, somebody... Uh, I did that, and it's like, Rob, that's mine. Oops. I apologize. Yeah, that was Visgren's mobile suit that I did not realize, because it was a Gaz L, so, you know, not taking any chances. But it was just a grenade, and I'm all... Speaking of grenades, I'm also about to try and give him some stealth, which is a little bit too late to be useful, unfortunately. But the good news is they are all right down this tunnel, which gives me a chance to at least get some... Uh, shots into that nice narrow area. Also, they're kind of hanging out in support fire land, so that's hopefully not going to end well. And there is another Gaz L. Yeah, I believe the team is uh, four Gaz Ls, one Gaz R, and one Jim 3. So that is, uh, that is the, uh, that is the, uh, 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 that is their loadout, and yeah, I am here just uh, being a Jagan being a, a prototype Stark Jagan in the middle of all that, and I think doing a pretty good job of playing keep away here. Can't, you know, can't uh, take all the credit. Definitely uh, uh, the team was doing a really good job of uh, guarding me when possible. I just threw the stealth grenade, because may as well give the stealth. Um, interesting thing you may notice there is unlike the smoke dispensers for things like the Efreet and the Zaku Cannon, uh, the smoke grenade does give stealth the same as uh, the same as uh, the those mobile suits can give to themselves. It does not give the defense buff that they can give themselves. So I thought that was interesting. I never noticed it before. So because I this may be like the third time at most I've run the prototype Stark Jagan. So yeah, it's just uh, just something I hadn't seen. And there is a Gaz L finally getting to stab me. But I think. That is one of my few, if not my only, death this round, so, yeah. Ah, oh, and Salty's the one that got me. But yeah, I, uh, I, like I said, I, uh, I like, uh, this Jagan. I wouldn't recommend using it on this map, but yeah, I just lucked out, so. I, uh, I guess I was just in the right mindset, because it is very much a keep-away kind of thing, especially with this setup, and I, you know, I did that uh, Gelgud Cobra round the previous night, and yeah, beam rifle keep away and don't get killed by the raid keep away are similar beasts, I feel like. Let's see, there's that Gaz L, which is now retreating. I'm going to throw my extra missiles out here. And I did stun something. Missed with the bazooka. Chest Vulcans are not bad on this thing. And I got shot from behind by something, so they hit my ridiculous uh, tail binder. And okay, yeah, so I died again. Yeah, I think I get, I think I end up dying like two, three times uh, uh, overall. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was not bad. All right, and gonna respawn shortly. I've got a slight lead, um, about 2,200 points, which at, at 500, not, not the world. Um, gonna try and keep the point, and 
I kind of, I was kind of sad when I saw how little help that Gaz L had left because I might have been able to finish it if I'd had time to load a second bazooka shot. But somebody will get it. I think somebody did get it, in fact. And now there's two people on that team, I think, trying to take the point. Either that or one of ours jumped in. One of ours jumped in, but I don't think they're going to live very long for it, so... I am... Uh, okay, that's Vizgren again, who is uh, who is fighting in uh, in his mobile suit back there now, but... Okay, so there is a Gaz, and it is retreating in a straight line and got stunned, so it can have all the missiles. Actually, I guess I just used the bazooka, because I still have all the missiles. There is the Gaz L. I missed most of its shots. Yep, just trying to wait for the moment when I would not stun my allies, so... And threw some smoke, which, uh, you know, gave some of our folks stealth. I'd kind of like for there to be an indicator on the uh, team uh, readout on the left to show when uh, when you're, uh, who is affected by stealth and where. But uh, managed to land a lot of missiles there and follow up to get a kill. And going to toss out a grenade and get another kill. And throw out another bazooka shot and miss, but I am about to have uh, missiles again. One of the gas has still uh, finally figured out I'm there, but uh, through my missiles, I believe that may be salty co uh, coming in. And I'm just going to throw the smoke, which not only uh, gave me stealth, but kind of obscured my uh, uh, my presence enough for me to back uh, out. And Salty was laughing because I totally managed to evade him. Uh, he, he had no idea I wound up out here. So, And I'm just going to shoot that Jagan. Oh, I am dead because, you know, gas. But yeah, well, again, you know, I think only three deaths against a team full of uh, gas L's is still pretty good. Yeah, that's right, Ozzer's Cry was with us. It was nice to see, uh, see him. It had been forever, so... Ah, gl glad to uh, glad to see he's doing well, because... Yeah, just... Man, just uh, always... Uh, always nice to bump into some of the GB01 crew I haven't uh, talked to in a long time, so that, that was good. And, yeah, we have got the lead with, uh, uh, like, 40 seconds to go. And throwing grenades because I didn't want to stun my team quite yet. And now I'll stun my team and try and get that. Got it. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm doing pretty well, I think, and being fairly effective. And threw out some uh, stealth for uh, the team. I mean, they're all right in front of the enemy's faces, but you know, if it helps uh, render radar useless, it may as well uh, try for it. But, okay, yep, I'm going to take some hits, but luckily... They're, they're from the Gym 3, and the team was right there to uh, uh, get the counter, and once that Gym 3 was on the ground, it was pretty uh, easy to take them down. So, And that is the round. We managed to uh, turn a slight point deficit into a 5,000 point lead in the last minute. And yeah, it went really well, and like I said, I managed to stay alive for a good while in a support against enemy team with four raids. So, obviously I did not get top damage with all that. Azur did really well. Um, so did Vizgren, and yeah, six kills, three deaths, ninety-eight thousand damage. Not that far off from the top, I suppose. Uh, in uh, yeah, in a prototype Stark Jagan. So that was just a fun round, and I and I was kind of proud of myself for not being dead every two seconds. So that is gonna do it for today's Gun and Battle Operation Two. We will be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later. I'm still trying to work my way through Dragon Quest VII for the 3DS. I've gotten fairly far into it, but uh, I believe I'm, I just got my uh, last new party member for the game, and I think the end game starts soonish. I'm not 100% sure, because the last time I played that was 20 years ago, and I never quite finished it.